And you let go and you're still standing up. Yeah. Anybody? I guess you guys haven't been on your toilet. Pleasure in the harbor. If you do have to crash in Utah Lake, don't worry, you can always walk to shore, so you know, it's not a big deal. Just kidding. All right. Questions on that at all? Indicated, true. That's the one that students have a really hard time with, is they don't understand it. So to me, indicated airspeed is not really a speed. What happens to your indicated airspeed in the winter? It increases. In a katana, I can yellow line that thing with full throttle. In the summer, I can't even touch yellow line unless I go into a dive. So to me, that's not really a speed. In my mind, it's a math equation that, rep that gives you a number representing air molecules. It represents my air molecules, which gives me my air pressure. I need a certain amount of air pressure to plane on. You ever seen the Piaggio? Mm -hmm. See how small the wings are on that thing? How fast does it have to go, though? Fast. It goes a lot faster because it has to create more air pressure to plane on. So if we go out there, I'll use Matt Vlad since he made fun of himself. If we put Matt Vlad Matt behind the boat, how fast do we got to go to get him to pop up? Way fast. <laughs> okay. Literally, I can, I can literally almost, I can when I go water skiing, if I've got two skis on, I can literally, right as the boat goes, I can just stand up put my dad behind the boat, we're like the boat won't get up on the plane because he's dragging it down. Okay, So it's the same principle though. If I've got more weight, I need more air pressure. So what are the two ways that I can increase my lift then? I can go faster or go to a lower lift. Yeah, I can go faster, which, which allows me, so in a jet, I go faster when I keep a smaller wing or I get a bigger wing because now surface I'm encountering more air pressure per square inch and then I can go. So it's really not as complicated as the Dawson book makes it sound where I can't even use the words they use. So in the summer your ground speed can be faster than in the winter. Yes. Same thing at high altitude. High altitude. The higher you are the faster you're going to be going ground speed. So if you own your own airplane and you were to graph it you'd see a spike in your fuel in the winter. You know, come back down in the summer. Now, everybody likes to fly in the winter, though. Why? Better performance. Oh, better performance. I'm climbing out. A Diamond Star here, right now, today, gets about 700 feet per minute. How much do I get at sea level? 1,200. I get a good 1,000 to 1,200. Okay. So now let's make you think. What do I get with a Twin Star, though? 1,200. We talked about this last time, right? Yeah. So the twin star doesn't change much because it's turbocharged. But with that engine, I'm getting 180 horses, whereas up here I'm getting 3%. So what am I getting? I'm only getting like 150, 160 horses out of it up here. So I'm not getting as much. So once again, let's go back into our icing discussion. I'm at 12,000 feet. How many horses do I have to fight that ice? About 100. 100. I'm a katana. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> You are a katana. I am a katana. Thank you. All right. So there's the pedostatic system. Questions? You're going to teach this back to me. See, so the guys who are actually taking the class, I think, actually have it easier. Because they just have to like do the tests and stuff. I'm taking it through continuing it. You guys, on the other hand, have to actually come in and teach all of this to me. I'm just taking it to fill my 11 to 11 50. <laughs> just kidding. All right, that's our pedostatic system. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on that. They just seemed like it went by way too quick. So nobody asked questions. It. Okay. Next time we're going to talk about magnetic compass, time turns, compass turns, and gyroscopic instruments. So we're going to go into all that fun stuff. We'll bring some gyros and play.